Composition is the video editor built for screencasters. It lets you focus on producing and publishing quality content instead of spending all of your time in complicated video editors. Composition automatically detects scenes in screen capture video, automatically detects sentences in voice over audio recordings, and features a high productivity editing workflow based on keyboard navigation. Let's look at how it works. We begin with an empty project. The large black area is the preview area. Below that we see the timeline. Currently it's empty, which is signified by its red color. To add clips to the timeline, we first need to import some assets. By pressing the I key on the keyboard, or by opening the project menu and clicking Import Assets, the Import dialog is opened. I have recorded a small sample tutorial on the Find command as a showcase. We'll import the video file first. We'll enable automatic classification of parts by checking the checkbox. There we go, video imported. Now let's add all the clips to the timeline. By moving the focus down using the down arrow key or the J key, we focus the empty parallel. From there, we press the key sequence A, V, C to append video clips. We are presented with the library asset dialog listing all video assets available. Those are all the chunks of moving video that the classifier found when importing. We select and append all assets. We can now move through them using the arrow keys or the vim bindings. By pressing the S key, we split a parallel at the given focus into two separate parallels. We'll do that for each section of our tutorial that we're editing. Next, let's import the voice over audio. Same here, we'll enable automatic classification. There we go, audio imported. Now, let's add the first classified audio parts to the first parallel in our timeline. By focusing the parallel and pressing the key sequence AAC, we append audio clips. We'll just add the first two clips for this part. Here we see how clips are laid out in a parallel. Each track plays sequentially until there are no more clips. At the end, video tracks are padded with still frames and audio tracks are silent. Our audio clip is longer in this case and we need to insert a video gap to offset the video clip where stuff is happening. By focusing the first video clip and pressing the key sequence PG, we prepend a gap before the focused clip. In this case, we'll add an 8 second gap to match the first sentence. We'll also add a 1 second gap between the audio clips to make it flow better. Now we can preview the currently focused parallel. The find command searches the directory tree from a given starting point by evaluating the expressions from left to right. The simplest invocation is just find. We'd work our way through the rest of the timeline until we're done, but let's skip ahead a bit. We press the R key or click render in the project menu to render our final video. We'll call it findoutput.mp4. Rendering can take a while, so sit back and enjoy the sound of your computer fan spinning.
This is how you work with composition. Be sure to read the guidelines on recording and workflow in the documentation to get the optimal editing experience and results. Composition is new and has a lot of rough edges, especially in terms of usability. Friendly feedback and issue reports would be highly appreciated. Thanks for watching.